Hey PCW fam, it's Pastors Anna Gray coming at you with an update about what's going on here at the church. Uh, I want to start with this Sunday and put into your heads to be here for dinner church, which is going to be uh, at 6 p.m. this coming Sunday. This is an additional uh, service that we are having. We are still doing our 10 a.m. worship service in the great room, uh, which I will be preaching and we'll have a minute for mission to remember our Ukrainian guests arriving here, the two-year anniversary of their arrival. Uh, but then in the evening, we will be together for uh, dinner church. We will have a meal, we'll have fellowship, we'll have uh, worship, uh, and time to be together and reflect on how to live out our faith lives. Any questions on anything on that, Anne, that's helpful? Yeah, so we are asking for donations to cover the cost of food, so we don't want to take you unawares by that. Um, yeah. If you can't afford anything, please come. We will yeah. feed you. Um, but if you're able to throw in a little bit, we'll have a basket to either collect cash and checks or we'll have online giving with a QR code. Um, so that'll just help us kind of cover those costs so we can keep doing it. So we're excited for Dinner Church. Yeah, it should be a wonderful time together and a new opportunity to, to be together. That's right. Uh, we are also getting prepared for our women's retreat uh, October 11th through 13th, but we need you to start registering yep. now. Right. So I've heard that there are many of you who are considering it. Um, there's a form that we've been sending out with our e-news to fill out. If cost is a barrier for you, please let me know. Um, we've got some funds that we can provide some scholarships if needed. I have also received a couple questions um, for Saturday afternoon, the schedule, which I'll be honest, um, I had to put together quickly to get out to you, says free time. It should probably say, semi-structured time. <laughs> so for those of you that are worried that it's going to be boring, um, I have all kinds of resources and we're giving you the gift of time to really be able to dig into your yeah. spiritual life. So yeah. there's a labyrinth at the retreat center. I'll have resources for how to take a prayer walk, how to do some journaling, yeah. some artwork, all different kinds of things. So whichever kind of speaks to you, you'll have the opportunity to select for yourself the best ways to enrich your spirit, either on your own or with a partner or a small group. So we'll we'll figure that all out together while we're there, um, but it should be a beautiful time of fellowship, of drawing closer to God, and we've got plenty of space. So if you have a friend you think might be uh, benefit from some time away, some time to focus on God, please encourage them also to sign up. We will not reach capacity, I can promise you that. So feel free to be inviting your friends to come too. Great. Uh, on Saturday, September 21st, we will be having some folks here working to reseed parts of our lawn here at the church. This is a volunteer uh, it's effort. It's a volunteer effort. Yes. So we need folks to come and help reseed uh, parts of our lawn that have not had as much TLC as they've needed over the last few years. Um, and so this will be on Burns Avenue, uh, on the burn on the sanctuary side of Burns Avenue. And we will um, be reseeding. It'll be on September 21st, 2 to 5 p.m. And I've told that they're will possibly be pizza there too for mm. the volunteers. So uh, if that's something that you would like to do and can help uh, uh, not only make our grounds beautiful, but also uh, help take care of uh, the beautiful gift of creation uh, that we are had. This is part of all the work that not only the plan, our, our plan committee, which is our landscaping committee has been working on, but also our ECC team to how we can care uh, for our environment and be meaningful and purposeful and how we plant around uh, the church. So that is part of that work. So sa Saturday, September 21st, 2 to 5 p.m. And then finally, and we've also had some excitement happen yeah, around celebration. here celebration. We had our geothermal test well drilled. So they were able to drill to see how far they would get down before they hit bedrock. Um, and there were some encouraging results from that. We've got great information now for our engineers as they work on the next fan phase of planning. <laughs> Fanning, um, we like to call it. Um, but so this will allow them to really kind of dial in how many wells do we need? Where are they going to go? 
and that well that was drilled will then become part of our well field. Yes. So it's the earliest well, it won't go to waste, um, but you'll see it, it might be a couple weeks before the parking lot is completely clear of yeah. kind of the end result of that, that drilling, um, yeah. but that is gonna allow our engineers to put the plan together. So we're moving forward, we're excited to, it was very cool to watch, um, and it's um, an exciting project, so. Great. All right. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Looking forward to seeing you all this coming Sunday for worship at 10 a.m. and then dinner church at 6. God bless. We'll see you then. Bye.